Seat belts. Wearing a shoulder harness and lap belt reduces the chances of being thrown around in your vehicle or from it during a collision. As you cannot predict when you may crash, it is safer to always wear your seat belt. Your chances of surviving a collision are three or four times greater with a seat belt than without one. Without a seat belt, you will fly into or through the windshield or into the steering column, or you will be thrown from the vehicle. The following laws apply in the state of Texas. Children younger than five years old and less than 36 inches tall must be secured in a child safety seat according to the manufacturer's instructions. Each person should use one seat belt. No more than three people should ride in the front seat with a bench style seat. Everyone in the front seat must use some type of restraint. All persons in the passenger area of a vehicle who are at least 5 years old but younger than 17 years of age must use a seat belt. The driver of the vehicle is responsible for all passengers under the age of 17 using seat belts in the back seat. All passengers above 15 years of age in the front seat of the vehicle are held in violation themselves if they fail to wear a seat belt. You are exempt from the seat belt law if you have a written statement from a licensed physician stating medical reasons for not wearing a seat belt, or if you are on a route delivering newspapers. A seat belt extension must be purchased if the seat belt is too short. Note. If a vehicle is equipped with a seat belt anchorage, a seat belt is required regardless of the age of the vehicle. A safety belt has been identified by the state of Texas as a lap belt and any shoulder straps 